Yeah, Brittany, there is a lot of work that still needs to be done here. This, as this pile of debris behind me shows me, look how massive it is. This all collected from this one community here. All this sheet metal ripped off the homes here. Neighbors tell me they are glad the president dropped in today. This is video from earlier this afternoon of President Trump meeting the folks who call this place home. Vice President Pence and First Lady Melania Trump are also here. They worked to hand out supplies in an area that took the brunt of Irma's winds. The Naples airport nearby recorded a wind gust of about 140 miles per hour near the storm. One man who met the president said he had been, I talked to one man who met the president, listen to what he had to say. He told me that he was very happy and very glad that people like me that were helping out the community, getting together, that he was just very impressed of the situation, how we were holding up, like helping one another. And obviously, people living here tell me that they hope the president's visit will help them get what they need. Coming up on Wink News at 5, I'm going to show you the traffic jam the visit created today just outside of here. Hear from the people who are in that jam and hear what they hope they'll get out of the president's visit today. In Naples, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now. Well, you know, Lois, when President Trump was coming through the Naples area, they blocked off part of Rattlesnake Hammock Road, not too far from where I'm standing, to make sure he had a clear path into this neighborhood to see this damage. It is all over the place, and they are hoping that with the president being here, he can get some help for Southwest Florida. Cleanup continues in Naples Estates, an area rocked by Hurricane Irma. Well, we love the people of Florida, and they went through something that I guess the likes of which we can really say nobody's ever seen before. President Trump sees for himself just how damaged this community is following gusts over 100 miles per hour. Osvaldo Extramil got to meet the president. We're all in this together, so we all got to hold out together. An experience he says he'll never forget. Let me say that that was the most this is an impact that will be for the rest of my life. This is one of the most memorable things that will ever happen in my life. And despite this traffic jam because of the motorcade, people delayed a few minutes to tell Wink News they're glad the president is in their neighborhood. I think that's awesome. Uh, big fan of President Trump. I think he's a great guy. I think he's doing great for the country. Uh, kudos, Trump. As the president, first lady, and vice president served food and handed out supplies, neighbors take comfort knowing the president is looking out for them. But we love these people, and uh, we're going to be back. Now, the president didn't specify when exactly he would be back in southwest Florida, but he did tell everybody here that he is with us 100%. In Collier County, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now. Yeah, and it's a neighborhood that was torn apart literally by those strong winds in Hurricane Irma's eye wall. Look at this place. It looks like it hasn't been touched since the storm rolled through here. And it's something that the president said he is planning on helping with as much as he can after his visit here today. Yeah, it would be nice to take a shower. <laughs> Rocky Bowling is one of many people struggling to get back to normalcy here in Naples Estates. Hurricane Irma's winds ripped sheet metal from homes and tore off roofs here. Now neighbors are glad to see someone is paying attention. I think it's awesome. You know, he's been awesome paying attention to what's going on around him, you know. Out. And we're going to help. And, and the job that everybody has done in terms of first responder and everybody has been incredible. The president toured the streets here. Then he, the first lady, and other leaders served food to people in line here, living here. An act of kindness that's going a long way with neighbors like Osvaldo Extremal. Yes, his visit will help the help that we need. Get the, the help that we need here. Absolutely. Hopefully, yes. An idea many in Southwest Florida are keeping faith in. I think he's a great guy. I think he's doing great for the country. Uh, kudos, Trump. As folks like Rocky work to get back on their feet. Everybody get some fast service if we can. That'd be really nice, you know. And the president told everybody that he knows Florida well and that the people living and working here to get this community put back together are very special people. He does say he, say he plans to be back here but did not specify when. In Collier County, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now.